In this video, we introduce a technique for digital video stabilization and rolling shutter correction using gyroscopes. Handheld video footage often exhibits distortions from handshake and rolling shutter. These distortions are particularly painful in casual videography. Here we show video taken with an Apple iPhone 4. One way to stabilize the camera is to use a mechanical solution, like the Steadicam shown here. However, these approaches are too expensive and bulky for casual videography. As a result, most of us have to make do with video stabilization algorithms. Most existing algorithms track features in the image in order to recover the camera's motion and compensate for it. Shown here is Voodoo, a structure from motion package often used as a component in video stabilization algorithms. However, feature tracking is computationally expensive and is brittle in the presence of scene motion, poor lighting, motion blur, and image noise. Here is the video shown earlier, stabilized using a feature-based algorithm. Notice that the video still suffers from popping and jittering, especially near the corners. Our approach does not rely on feature tracking. Instead, we measure the camera's motion directly using gyroscopes, which are built into many video recording devices. Our stabilization result, shown here, does not exhibit the same jittering typically seen in feature-based stabilization. Note that the slight jumping you may see here is a temporal resampling artifact introduced by Adobe Premiere. Please refer to our supplemental materials for the raw output of our algorithm. In our algorithm, we begin by recording a gyroscope trace as the video is being recorded. By integrating the gyroscope readings, we can reconstruct the camera's orientation as a function of time. Although the camera's translational position could also be determined, doing so would require double integration of accelerometer data, which is numerically unstable. If we apply a low-pass filter to the camera's orientation, we obtain a stabilized synthetic camera. A 2D homography could be applied to project all pixels in the input video onto the synthetic camera. However, this technique does not remove all distortions, as seen in this output. These wobbles are due to the presence of a rolling shutter. Cameras with rolling shutters expose the rows of a single frame sequentially from top to bottom. For a stationary camera, this has no effect on the output image. But if the camera undergoes a rotation, such as yaw, pitch, or roll, it introduces a nonlinear distortion. Thus, it is impossible to fully correct for rolling shutter artifacts using a global linear transformation per frame. In this video, we show how such an approach fails to fully correct rolling shutter effects near the top and bottom of the frame. Because we know the camera's motion during the exposure, we can compute a warp for each row that will undo the distortion. Here we show some additional results. In this example, a strong lens flare makes it difficult to detect and track image features reliably. As a result, feature-based stabilization has trouble determining camera motion. This failure causes the jittering artifacts seen in the trees. In contrast, the lens flare does not affect the quality of our stabilization. This next example contains large moving foreground objects. Feature-based stabilization tends to have trouble distinguishing between the scene's motion and the camera's motion. As we do not rely on analysis of the video stream, the scene's motion is irrelevant to our estimate of the camera's orientation. In addition to providing better stabilization results, our algorithm can also run in real time on a mobile device. We implemented a stabilized viewfinder on an Apple iPhone 4 using its built-in MEMS gyroscope. In order to illustrate the stabilization, we rigidly mounted an iPhone to a video camera. 
Here we show the viewfinder without stabilization. Notice the jarring motions of the videographer's footsteps. With stabilization activated, the viewfinder is significantly more stable. Note that the ghost images seen on the viewfinder are due to a missynchronization between the iPhone's screen refresh rate and the recording camera's frame rate. Such artifacts are not visible to the naked eye. Thank you for your attention.